Hey there, YouTube. Uh, Skywish is here, bringing you a um, a Minecraft Let's Play, as I was hoping to do at some time this month and actually start. So, um, this is going to be a Minecraft 164 Let's Play on a modded version of Direwolf 20's but pack. This is currently only one version 1.03, as I can't update to version 1.0.11, as Calclavia broke his own mod. Good job, jackass. Um, and some of the mods that I have installed require Calculabia score, such as yada yada yada, jumping on our jumping into this, such as uh, ICBM, um, mechanism, and universal electricity in the main core. Now, those are the things that require Calculabia's mod in order to run. Um, as you can see, I have mechanism. Um, uh, magic crops, really good. I was really hoping to get that. Liquid experience, I love that mod. It's the best. Um, and a lot of other things, including mouse tweaks, ICBM, all of the the entire ICBM. Um, and Greg Tech, I removed Tinker's Construct because I'm not a fan of that. I prefer a hardware. As you can see, I've been doing some uh, testing and stuff. I'm going to lock this world. I'm going to name it something completely random off the top of my head. It's something to do with something else. Um, random name, random name, world.net. No, uh, I'm going to name it Skylines. Game mode survival. I want this on biomes or plenty biomes. Don't use your stuff off, on. I should turn this on as it is a little hard to do that, but eh, I'll leave it off. On, done. And here we go. We are creating a brand new world. This is going to be hopefully the longest let's play I do. Spanning hopefully over a few dozen episodes. Give or take 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, I don't know. We'll see where it takes us and we'll see how long it takes me to get Endgame with Greg Tech. That's one of the main things I want to try to get. Endgame with Greg Tech. Uh, so we started out in a nice little forest biome, yay, guess what I need. Which reminds me, I have to do one thing very quickly, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, sorry about that YouTube, just remembered I had majorly edited my tree capitator config, so I would be uh, magically overpowered when doing tests. But for now, I'm gonna play more legit now. I reset the config, and it should everything be running fine now, the way I want it. Back to default configs. The only thing I really changed in the configs was the Greg Tech unification. I'm not a big fan of that, and I never will be. Ooh, moss already. What luck. So as you can see, two per thing. So you're going to need a lot of wood to start out, basically. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to get myself an axe so I can get wood a lot easier. Thank you, Dr. Cat. So, what else do I have installed? Um, basically, the basic mods that Diablo 20 has. All the modular power suits, logistics pipes, which I really hope to get into a lot of. Six. And a few other things. Uh, factorization. You all know I have Greg Tech. I'm a big fan of Greg Tech. He does a good job with his mods. Some people say it's overpowered, but eh, it doesn't bother me. It really depends in the eye of the user what it what he you classify hard as. For me, this isn't hard. I have gotten so used to playing like Greg Tech on another server that I play on on a server that I used to play on. It went down a while ago. But I'm so used to playing with Greg Tech that it's not funny. Um, I basically play Greg Tech every time I play. Ooh, cheap. I could use you. It's not like you're going to be returning anytime soon, so... Die. Thank you. That's my sheep morph. I hope I'm actually not going to abuse the morphs anymore. That's another thing I should probably do. Not abuse morph. Because as usual, I would probably just morph into a bat and just fly everywhere. I'm not going to try to do that anymore. I'm going to try to play more legit based. And this was the thing that was actually bothering me. The whole, yeah, this tool thing. Um, I'm going to leave this on. This will make it more fun and go from there. 
Well, one of the other things I wanted to say, one of the other things that is going to be part of this is, wow, my axe didn't break. Cool. Uh, I'm going to try to find a nice little area to build. Hopefully I can find the metals very fast, because I actually like the metals area. Because I hope to start, because I also plan to start off with, I mean, I'm not going to be flying, but I am going to be doing a lot of miscraft early game. As best I can, as I usually try and do, because Miscraft is an awesome mod and people should be using it a little bit more. As we go back to chopping down a big tree here, you're gonna be able to see that. Well, five minutes have passed, nothing too major. Usually, the first episode is just me talking and other stuff, but sooner or later, I'll actually start doing something uh, big. I'll start doing my builds. And those are usually complex and big. I like to go into really good explanation as to what I'm doing and why. And I will explain to you the importance of two things when it comes to builds. One, uh, first most important thing if you're going to do a, any sort of building is you got to make certain that you have... Like, um, well, you'll learn, but when I do my MFR builds, you'll learn why I do my MFR builds the way I do my MFR builds. Because else you will just be confused when you see me doing certain things. Other than that, in the first episode is usually this. Just gathering resources, you know. Probably exploring this minimum true cave. Probably not. Not falling into it. Ah, the norm. Um, so, oh, I have a fire tree. Perfect. This is exactly what I need. Uh, you, 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 you. Is it still gonna cut down slow? Oh, yeah. Well, not as slow as it was with the wooden axe, but it's the same kind of deal. They should get me in my farm rubber. Oh, yeah. Did I get any saplings? Yes. How many? Four. Beautiful. So anyway, back to what I was originally trying to say, um, what other mods do we have installed? Um, all the basics from Greg Tech, I named Greg Tech, I named IC2, Mouse Tweaks. Mouse Tweaks I have installed as well, that is usually very, very helpful when it comes to me trying to, ooh, parts down, Railcraft, uh, Greg Tech, uh, Mouse Tweaks. Mouse Tweaks is one of the things that I like, um. It really helps when you're trying to do like different things, like, uh, let's see if I can find a good example. Because, ooh, gravel beach, perfect! Um, I think this has gravel tools, I'm not a hundred percent nerd, let me double check. No, this does not. Oh, flint tools, sorry. Yes, this does. Oh, oh. Oh, let me quickly do this very quickly. Set you in the recipe mode, and boom. So this mode does have the flint tools. Very good. This gravel is going to come into use. Gravel is going to be one of the most useful things in early game from anyone who plays Greg Tech. Because of the flint factor. The flint is going to make tools that are basically stone tools durability. And same kind of mining speed as stone tools. One of the things I like finding is gravel beaches, because that means I can get a ton of gravel and I will be able to do a ton of good stuff, like get a bunch of tools already started up when I start my mining and all this other stuff. So I'm going to be mining up this for a bit, I'm going to continue finding something to talk about. Something involving the mods. Um, what other mods do we have installed that weren't originally installed? You already heard about ICBM, which is all the missiles and stuff. Uh, missiles, turrets, all that kind of stuff. The fun stuff. Um, what other do we have? What else? Not much. Greg Tech isn't on the default settings, except for the one factor of the... What's it called? What's that thing called? The only difference I changed with Greg Tech was the unification. The unification was one of the things that really, really, really bothered me. I did not like the unification, whether or not, like, I mean, a lot of people probably did like it because it was unification, it was unifying everything, but I did not like that. I do not like when things decide, oh, this is not Greg Tech related. Well, now it is. 
I am not a big fan of anything that does that. That is, whenever there is a mod that says, "Oh, I'm going to unify all the ores in your thing without your permission," that's when I get annoyed. That's not to say that Greg Tech is bad. I'm just saying that I get annoyed whenever it's a "ha ha ha, we're going to control what you do" thing. Other than that, Greg Tech is an amazing mod. It adds a ton of really cool things, like IDSU's, AESU's, uh, Fusion Reactor, which I hope to actually build one. Uh, sometime in the near future on this pack, if I ever decide to actually get up to a high enough level that I'm good enough to get infinite power. Um, Magical Crops. One of the reasons I installed Magical Crops as well. That is one of the mod mods I installed. One of the reasons I installed Magical Crops was simple. It's easy. It's fun. It's useful. I'm dying of hunger, apparently. Oh, fuck! Poison Ivy! But, yeah. Um, shrubs are useless. Berries for the win. Um, yes, magical crops, magical crops, magical crops makes it a lot easier and a lot, well, a lot easier. Wow, that's a fast thing. But no, ram, it makes it. Okay, that works. Magical crops will make it easier for me to grow things like coal, iron. I mean, one of the things I hope to get up is a giant coal farm. Running strictly on coal. Running strictly on MFR. Just coal just coal seeds. The entire farm. A max size coal farm, so I can probably okay, that's good. I might build here because this looks like a decent idea. I have no idea what else is in the distance, as this is actually my first time playing this. So here's an idea. I'm gonna go look for a house and hopefully not die look for a place to call home and does oil still do that thing where it no okay that's good um i'm gonna probably look for a home and cut back to you guys probably when i hang on wait a second what is that over there okay cut back to that oh that ABI. sorry i already think i found my home Cause this is a nice ooh. Oh hello. Oh hello. Okay, I think I found my home. Well, actually, I found one. Hey, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do that. One of the things that we're gonna need gold. One of the things that I'm gonna need gold for is something really, really useful. Solar panels. Solar panels are now 200% harder to get. Worth it in the end, because you're gonna want to start jumping straight into the um, higher tier stuff you're not gonna want to do low tier for uh, any sort of things whenever you have direct tech involved if you're gonna go straight if you're gonna go to solars you're gonna want to go high tier this is like uh, the usual um, ADSU no the um, advanced solars that's what's awesome to install advanced solars not just solars plus, but advanced solars. So that means these are solars that have, uh, what's it called? Like the, um, hmm. I'm trying to remember the name of the solar. Let me quickly look it up. And uh, this moss is useful. This moss is very useful. And oh yeah, level. Um, what others? Advanced Solars adds, um, what's it called? Oh, the Ultimate Solar. Ultimate Solar Hybrid, which can run at night at 64 U per tick and also run during the day for a grand total of 512 U per tick. Oh, good. Zombies. This is why I like this mod. Oh, God, I pissed off an enemy. No, no, no. But I'm finding lots of coal, or uh, copper, which is something I'm going to start setting off with. Uh, thermal expansion is one of the things I'm going to be helping you study about with. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hello. Alright, I'm running. I'm running. Yes, I'm going to be back when I find a home. It might be in this lit area. I might clear out the forest. Because this is looking like a pretty decent area. Aside from the fucking, uh, I forgot to mention that mechanism adds mods. That initially shit, 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 shit. Uh, is there a squid nearby? I can kill. <laughs> I don't 
know we shouldn't be doing this on screen, but oh god, no, 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 no. Um, I forgot to mention, Mechanism adds the ability for the mobs to carry and equip uh, Mechanism Armor, which is undoubtedly overpowered. Ah, squiddy, 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 come on. Come to me, come to me, come to me. This is the one time I need morph. This is the one time I actually need morph. Die, 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 die. Give me your morph. Alright, there we go. That's the morph. Come on up. up, 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 up. Good. I'm gonna do that. Go to that. And dish it out. Thank you, God. As stated, the one time I'm ever going to actually use Morph is probably for pools of water. But this is actually looking like a nice little area. We have a oil well over here, which is going to be going probably very, very deep down. Oh yeah. Very deep down. Holy crap. Uh, clay, good enough for me. More oil. Uh, nice hat, by the way. I have none. Well, yeah, it's just looking like a good area, so I might quickly... Fucking Christ. I'm gonna kill a few zombies. Um, I'm gonna be right back when it's a lot safer and when I have some sort of progress to show you. So, be back in a bit. So, coming back, I just found iron in a little hole that I realized I noticed was here earlier, but I never actually looked at it. I gotta look, because I found one iron. Oh, God, that is situationally ironic. I'm gonna need a lot of the stuff. Oh, I love you, Greg Tech. You just love doing this to me. Every game. Oh, here's one iron for your first. Now go and suffer to find the rest. Yeah. At one point or another, I'm gonna be making a stone. No, I'm gonna be making iron tools sooner, but. One of the things that I want a lot of is the copper. The copper is going to be, as I stated, very powerful and very useful. Especially later on in line and mechanism. Believe me when I say copper and steel are one of the things you want early on very much of. Copper, steel, tin, iron, all the normals. You're going to want to be digging for resources and going for resources and going for resources. Fucking honey. So, I'm debating on building in here, because I like this area right now. This has easy access to fuel, which is all the way over there, but I can interchange. Other than that, and this is a cave. This is easiest to probably mine, as the fact that, first of all, it's all stone. This is really useful. Second of all, I could flatten this area pretty simply. I know I'm pretty good at flattening stuff. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we hear? What do we hear? What do we hear? Uh, if I remember correctly, this is, uh, try that forest. So, one of the bad things about this is Twilight Forest mods. They will spawn. Uh, okay, I should probably not die at some point, because that would be bad. So, I'm going to be right back again, because all I wanted to show you was the iron collecting, and with a house, hopefully. So, let me quickly grab my... I don't have an axe. Shit. Oh, sh... What? What? Oh, you're joking! This is one of the good things about mouse tweaks. I can do that with a right click. It'll automatically do one per. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, Oh, actually, wait, I have this. I'm gonna go die! Or not. Oh, I need that carrot, yes. You. You. I might actually build here. I never know. This actually seems like a pretty dumb idea to do. 
but I need food bad. And one of the things that's gonna probably kill me is hunger. Uh, if I don't get any food fast. Uh, oh shit. Okay. Well, that was a nice death on camera. Um, yeah, now I just gotta remember where my stuff is and I should be set. Oh, good, it's over in this direction. Um, maybe I should create a wood bucket. Nah, yeah, seems like a great idea. I'm gonna be creating a wood bucket. I'm going to be figuring out what I want to do next, and I'm gonna build a small house and come back to it, and, and that should be around the 30 minute mark. So, I'll be right back, YouTube. So, YouTube, this doesn't look like too bad of a place to live, does it? I mean, it's pretty high. You are in the thing. You can build a quarry to help clear out land. You have a nice little passage going down. Semi-safe, not 100%. That'll be safer sooner. I should probably add some things. I'm starting to clear out the trees around here. But a lot of stuff is really starting to come together. Um, I think one of the first things I'm actually going to do is actually build a house. I'm going to start by... Um, probably going mining for a bit. So, this will probably be the... Oh, shit. Well, one of the first things I can do is make a bed, which is why I planted some about that. Um, uh, cotton. Oh, I missed a piece of wood. Apparently. I need to expand this, maybe move this down. Actually, I can do that now. I'm gonna quickly grab my water bucket. Do this. Quickly get rid of some of you because you're gonna be annoying the hell out of me. La 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 la. I'm gonna expand this outwards. Um, I'm gonna hoping to expand this outwards, and I'm gonna go. I'm going to expand this outwards, um, I've really run out of things to say, <laughs> but no, um, this looks like the beginning of a nice little area, I'll probably light this area up, leave it as is, and go from there, one, two, three, four, that's where the water goes, uh, oh, fuck, there we go, water. That's three, four. So basically like that. And this entire area is going to be farmland. This corner for now. Just the corner because eh, I'm too lazy to do the rest at the moment. And my thing is going to die anyways. So let's go really plant down my Cotton will go here as that's the most expensive. Q4 will go there, and uh, barley will go in this corner for the time being. I hope to corner this thing properly, but until that time comes, I can nom on sunflower seeds, which I cannot replant apparently, which absolutely sucks. There is no way to regrow sunflowers, which is really kind of pathetic, but eh, I don't know. It's, it's up to forestry. Which reminds me, I should probably set up a tree farm very quickly. Which I should probably get more dirt. And set that up. And let's go down and set it up. Like, say. More oh, cotton seeds, perfect. Just what I needed cotton seeds. Because <laughs> I'm going to need a lot of cotton. And I mean a lot when I say a lot. Uh, probably set up a sickle soon. Apples, not bad. More seeds. I could use all the seeds I can get now. Uh, set up my tree farm. Start it out like one, two, three, one, two, three. Start it up by three by three. And I know a lot of you are probably yelling at me for that because hey, guess what? Most people don't aren't doing this. Most people don't do that. Eh, I do. 
you're gonna learn why when the time comes but I always do that because I want to try to get the most out of one axe like right now I got 52 oak wood that's not enough that's nowhere near enough what I need which reminds me I need some barrels so I'm gonna go do this do you two do you do you do you do you no two and do you two if you let me do barrels this is gonna be good enough for what I need up 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 Right. Ooh, fit because these are full size blocks. Dang it. Um then two. Okay. Um let's toss my cobble in one. And the other one will be wood. Strictly wood. I usually have an oak wood barrel for wood, as I'm gonna be getting a lot of the oak wood. I am very persistent on wood, so that's one of the things I like doing. I like getting the barrel for wood. Specifically, oak wood for oak wood. And I will try to color coordinate these. Um, so, I believe it's getting close to the 30 minute mark that I try and do and never actually attempt to do because, hey, why not? Editing is fun. Let's throw in some random spoilers for you guys. I think I saw the spoiler, and that's. Spoiler in the episode, congratulations. Barley, just what I need. Oh, Barley, you beautiful thing. Oh, that gave me a lot of seeds. I'm gonna quickly plant you three, and then plant y'all. Jaded wants me dead now, woo. Oh, uh, yeah. So between this episode and the next one, I'm going to go mining a bit and hopefully have a little bit more building going on. But overall, it's turning out pretty nice. we got a nice little forest hills area. we got a volcano over there for lava fuel. Soon will be obelisk. We have to the northeast, south, southwest, we have an oil, which is going to be good for oil. And we've cleared out a good area of trees. We've got a little tree area going on. We have some farming going on, we have infinite water, we have gravel product, we have flint, we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm pretty pleased with myself right about now for what I have so on. Sooner or later I'm going to hope to get all this stuff sorted, which reminds me I need another barrel. Yeah, I just remembered I need another barrel. I'm going to pop you down because I'm going to have one for oh, three. I'm gonna flatten this area quickly and do this. I don't know if it's birch that really throw a fit, but I'm about to find out. Birch might throw a fit when those ones grow, but I'm gonna want birch wood as well, which means I need you. Seven. You, you. You and you. And a wood for saplings. So we have barrels for saplings, wood, and cobble. We have rubber and a lot of other things. Some nice AE thing, which is going to be really coming in handy. A good amount of copper. And hopefully soon, a, a few furnaces. And hopefully by the third or fourth episode, one of my... And this is the design I did on my own. I don't think anyone's able to, I don't think anyone's actually done it in a Let's Play series, but one of my technically patented um, automatic doubling of the ores, kind of-ish, automatically 120% ore income setups, where you basically shove in the ore and it will go into whatever the hell you want it to and it'll pull out. Um, okay, that will be coming up sooner or later, and for now, this is Skywishes signing saying goodnight and goodbye and whatever. I'll see you guys next episode.